How can you improve your pronunciation? I've got one answer. Tongue twisters. How much wood would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? A tongue twister is a couple of words or a sentence that has no real meaning, but they're great for practicing saying difficult sounds. So you might have uh, two sounds that are similar. We call that a minimal pair. For example, e and i, and then the tongue twister will get you to practice saying those sounds in a kind of fun, humorous way. They're great for English learners because they really help you to focus on sounds that you find difficult. It's really important to repeat the tongue twisters over and over again because what you're doing there is you're building strength in the muscles in your mouth that create these sounds. And that's really important is that your, your mouth needs to learn how to make these sounds because perhaps some of these sounds aren't in your language. So these are new ways that your mouth is moving. So you need to build strength, muscle memory, so that your mouth is ready to make the sounds when you're communicating in English. So tongue twisters are fantastic. They're a bit like going to the gym and lifting weights repeatedly. You can't just lift the weight once and think that you'll get strong or whatever. You have to do it over and over again and that's exactly what tongue twisters help us to do. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Are you ready? Let's do this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. This is probably the most famous tongue twister. And we're practicing s and sh, sh, sh. Now you can see the difference in my mouth position there, my lips particularly, for s, like a snake. S. My mouth is open. S. My tongue is against the back of my bottom teeth. and my mouth is open and I'm pushing air out. See, sing, things like that. Now, with shh, you can see my lips, it's, my mouth is open but my lips are kind of together, aren't they? Shh, shh. And my tongue is kind of in the middle between my bottom teeth and my top teeth and not really moving. Shh. And again, I'm blowing air out. She sells sea shells by the seashore. She sells sea shells by the seashore. Okay, it's your turn to say it with me. One, two, three. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 Woo! Okay, all right. So build up and see how fast you can go. This is why tongue twisters are quite fun, is you can build up speed, but start slowly and then gradually increase your speed and then see how fast you can do it. All right, next one. How much wood would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? All right, that's a really fun one. Uh, sounds there, wood is, is a quite a tricky word there, wood. You've got the, the homonym there of wood, W-O-U-L-D, and then wood, W-O-O-D. So there's, there's a bit of a homonym there. And then you've got chuck. Chuck is quite, a, the ch sound is quite a tricky one. Um, and could, of course, as well, wood could often my learners mix those two words wood and could um, so that's a really fun one how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood <laughs> that's a really fun one you can build that up really fast let me see okay here we go see how fast i can go how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood 
That is good fun. Eastleigh Dreamers, try that one. That's, um, yeah, it's a good, good practice one. Now, I love this tongue twister because we're practicing two sounds that I think are really important to differentiate. E and I. E and I. E, we have the l wider mouth. E, mouth open. E, big smiley face. E. And we have I, which is the shorter sound. I. E. I like to do it with my hands. E, long. I, short. E, I. Now, my tongue twister for this one is these six silly sisters are sweet to meet. These six silly sisters are sweet to meet. So we've got the short sound, so, sorry, long sound. These six silly sisters are sweet to meet. So the long sound's there. So do that again, long sound, short sound. These six silly sisters are sweet to meet. Again, the meaning, nonsense. Don't worry about the meaning, forget the meaning. It's all about practicing those sounds. Okay, together. These six silly sisters are sweet to meet. 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 Yeah! I think we're almost uh, rapping there. <laughs> Good job, guys. All right. We want to differentiate the f, f sound and th sound. So this tongue twister really helps us. He threw three free throws. I think this is related to basketball. A free throw is something in basketball. He threw three free throws. So we've got that, that th, th sound. I've taught this quite a lot. It's all about the tongue on the bottom teeth. Sorry, tongue on your top teeth. And then blowing air out. So he threw three, and then we have the f sound. So I'm using my bottom lip against my top teeth, free, and then I'm pushing my lips out, free. So he threw three free throws. He threw, <laughs> he threw three free throws. This is a really famous one. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. R -r 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 Lots of R sounds here. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. R -r so to make the, the R sound, the R sound, my tongue isn't touching anything, okay? It's, it's completely floating in my mouth. The sound is made at the front of our mouth, okay? Um, and uh, my lips are still, they're not moving. I should be able to make this sound for as long as I want. It's a voiced sound, so we should feel a vibration just here. And to release the sound, I move my jaw down slightly. So, and it comes down, and my tongue comes down as well. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascal ran. Let's develop this because I know that the R and L sounds are particularly difficult for many learners. So let's look at two tongue twisters for the R and L sound. The first one is a classic one, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. This one, it seems pretty simple, but when you speed that up, it gets really tricky. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Now, I've done a video helping people with the R and L sounds. I'll link that just above. But for this tongue twister, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Just speed that up, it's a really challenging one. Now one of the beauties of tongue twisters is that you can just make them up yourself. Because they have no meaning, you can just find words that have those difficult sounds and make a, a sentence. So that's exactly what I did. So another one to practice R and L. Let's try this one. 
The light on the right is bright and the flea is free to fly. The light on the right is bright and the flea is free to fly. Now, you'll notice there that I'm actually dropping my T sounds there. That's just a part of my pronunciation. Instead of saying right, I'll say right. Instead of saying bright, I'll say bright. It's just, um, I guess it's glottalization. It's, I'm not pronouncing the T sound. It's just a part of my, my accent sometimes. But don't worry about that. We're looking at the R and L sounds. So the light on the right is bright and the flea is free to fly. The light on the right is bright and the flea is free to fly. Now that has absolutely no meaning, but it's really good at practicing the R and L sounds, especially with words that are quite common, light, right, bright, fly, free, words like that. All right, I decided to make up another one because I want to practice the V and W sounds because I know, again, that causes a lot of problems. Wow, said the wet vet. Let's drink some wine from the vine. Wow, said the wet vet. Let's drink some wine from the vine. So the v, v, okay, so we've got v. So again, touching the bottom lip against the top teeth. V, and I'm blowing air out and causing a vibration. V, so I should have a vibration in my, in my throat here. V, whereas the w sound, you can see my lips are pursing together. And then they open to create the sound. All right, so vine, vine, wine, wine, vine, wine. So with the v, there's a vibration. With w, there's no vibration. So one is voiced, one is unvoiced. Wow, said the wet vet. Let's drink some wine from the vine. Wow, said the wet vet. Let's drink some wine from the vine. Two sounds that I think are really tricky to make. The th and th. So thin and th, for example. So they're both for, the t for th. Now the first one, th for example, th three. Three, we looked at earlier. So we have top teeth and a tongue and we're blowing air out. Three, three. The other sound, th. Now this has a vibration in our throat. It's voiced, it's a voiced sound. Th, th, th. So again, teeth, uh, sorry, tongue against the top teeth. Th, and I'm creating the vibration at the back here. Th. The, these, those. So the tongue twister, not these things here, but those things there. Not these things here, but those things there. So let's look at the sounds. Not these things here, but those things there. 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 This is here, but this is there. <laughs> All right, yeah, that wasn't, <laughs> didn't quite get it on the last one there. But that's what I want you to do. Build up your speed so that you, so that your mouth knows exactly what to do. It's almost like it's on autopilot. You know when a plane flies itself, they use a computer to fly the airplane. We call it autopilot. It's the same for our mouth and for the muscles in our mouth. We don't need to think about what we're doing with our mouth because we've done it so many times that it's automatic. So when you're practicing these tongue twisters, that's what you're doing. You're teaching your mouth to make the sounds and to make the movements that create the sounds. Practice. And finally, the most famous tongue twister, 
This is a hard one. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, so I guess the P sound is quite useful. The ED as well on uh, picked. So it's picked with the T sound, the T. Let's try that one more time. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? <laughs> it's good fun though, okay. Uh, I suggest that if you're an advanced student, you try saying that one. Um, but, <laughs> I, can't, I can't even do it. EC Dreamers, how was that? Did you enjoy those tongue twisters? Did you find them useful? I hope you did. I hope you found that they're a great way to um, start to develop the ability to create those sounds. I think that's the important thing. Is you, re repetition, okay? Practice those. You won't learn how to say those sounds just by saying them once, over and over again. Now, what I suggest is that you also make up your own tongue twisters. So in the comments below, feel free to create tongue twisters for other Eat Sleep Dreamers. Were there any tongue twisters that I forgot um, write those in the comments below and also let me know if you use tongue twisters in your language to help with pronunciation. Alright, so let me know in the comments below. As always guys, you'll get lessons every Tuesday and every Friday bringing you fresh modern English so that you can take your English to the next level and achieve your life goals, whatever they are, whether it's getting that new job or passing that exam. I'm here to help. Thank you so much for hanging out with me guys. As always, it's been a super fun one. This is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye. Okay, all right. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle with peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickle? <laughs> I can't do it, can't do it. All right. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle with peppers. Did, Pi did Peter Piper pick a pe <laughs> Okay. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled pipers? Pe pe peppers? Pe peppers, peppers, peppers. <laughs> if Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, did pe did pe I can't, I've lost, I'm gone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers pick Peter Piper picked? Oh, so close, so, so close. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled <laughs> ah! All right, I've got it, I've got it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper pi Peter Piper picked? Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Ah. I can do it, I can do it, I'm gonna do it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers? If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pi pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Not bad.